we have to map our selling team against that buying team, right? We're gonna to have to map who they are. We're gonna to have to map things like, what are the roles? So if I have an EVP, I should have somebody that's got some stature, right, to map up against that EVP versus somebody that's onboarding our company. I want about expertise. I've got a 30 year engineer on the other side. It would be nice if I had somebody that had some stature internally as well. Maybe somebody that just didn't come out of college seems like it'd be a bit of a disconnect, right? But I often find that you don't really think about mapping expertise, role, um, experience level. What typically happens in some companies is who's available, who's not productive. In the consulting world, they say, who's on the beach? And we'll put the people on the beach on the selling team. That means if they're not doing anything, let's throw them into the team versus mapping properly what we're talking about. How about even disc styles, behavioral styles, right? So if, if I'm a huge disc fan, so if I have a high D buyer, I certainly probably don't want to put them with a high I, right? The high D buyer wants to cut to the chase. Hey, this is my question, ba 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 ba, and here comes the I. Say, hey, how was your weekend? You know, I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm going to shoot myself, right? So 45 minutes of getting ready to get into the call, and then they jump into the call. I left that call mentally about 38 minutes ago, right? And so also, but the flip side is, if I'm a high D seller and I have an S buyer, I'm gonna bully my way through. That's not gonna be very good, right? And I think sellers, we get paid to change the way we sell, Buyers do not get paid to change the way they buy, right? That's just not how it works. So I think the first question that we'd ask is, do you actually map your sellers against your buyers? I mean, have you really done that? Or is it who's on our team is good at what they do? Which is, which is okay, I get it. But I think we should also figure out who on our team is good at what they do and matches to the other side. That's the point. That's the point. The Sandler Summit returns to the Orlando World Center Marriott on April 2nd and 3rd of 2025. Don't miss out on the premier sales and leadership event of the year. Reserve your seat now at sandler.com summit.